Yo, what's going on YouTube? Back again after an yet again another brief hiatus. Look, life happens. Everything's moving quick right now. Uh, work especially has been ridiculously busy uh, recently, but you got to fund the toys, right? So a lot of you may know just by seeing this box what we might have going on today. This has been coming since, gosh, November now. Um, you know, my friends over at Dyna Performance always wanting to hook it up and make it the best that they can possibly make it. So things take time when you want it to be done right. Today, without further ado, we have a Dyna Performance carbon fiber steering wheel going in. Um, when I got this built, I wanted it to match the red carbon on the interior. So see how well the camera picks this up. We have red carbon on top and bottom, white stitching with Alcantara grips on the side and a white center stripe. So uh, we're gonna get this thrown in today. I'm gonna walk you guys through briefly how to install it. Um, not too hard, just a couple of tools you'll need. Uh, a 24 millimeter socket, half inch ratchet, some form of pick or a skinny screwdriver, quarter inch ratchet and a T20 Torx bit and you're good to go. So uh, let me get the hood popped, uh, get this battery disconnected, then I'll show you guys exactly how to get this thing on. All right, guys, this part is probably the biggest pain in the ass when it comes to taking this airbag out. Uh, I'm being bougie and redneck and using an Allen key, but essentially, if you can see it, there's a little hole right here on both sides of the wheel. Um, I've got this side unclipped currently. Basically, all you have to do is take whatever tool that you're using, stick it in this tiny little hole, and try to find the spring. You'll feel around, and once you feel a little bit of tension, um, really all you need to do at that point is just squeeze and push onto that spring. You'll feel the airbag release, and um, <clears throat> once you get both sides depressed and pushed in and this airbag popped out, um, yeah, it'll, it'll literally just pop right off and then you can start disconnecting everything on the back. So once I manage to get this side over here off, uh, I'll pick the uh, GoPro back up on the head mount and show you everything you got to do to get the actual steering wheel off the car. So that was the biggest pain I've ever had to experience in my life. Ask Italian Stallion, he'll tell you the same thing. So this is what I'm talking about. These two little springs on, on both sides, you have to compress them one and then the other and then it finally releases but once you do that there's a main harness here and there's a few that are on the back side of the airbag here uh what you'll want to do uh, go ahead and unplug everything and once you do that you'll have one center stud right here that's the 24 millimeter so um yeah let me go ahead and get everything disconnected here and uh once i have that disconnected i'll go ahead and show you guys how to take this 24 millimeter off it's not really rocket science but all right guys so once you get the 24 millimeter off the middle of it um, all you're going to do is detach this harness back here and you can pull it straight out of the car so everything should be off at this point now what you have to do is transfer everything that's on this wheel to your new dyna performance steering wheel uh, you'll need a t20 torx bit and realistically, it's just taking every one of these controls off, disconnecting them, and reinstalling them on this wheel. So, due to the fact that it's a 10-speed, it's a little bit different than some of you manual guys out here. All you have to do is take this back plate off and transfer it over to uh, the new steering wheel. So, I'll put the GoPro on, like I said, and I'll show you guys briefly how to do this. I mean, there's a bajillion videos on YouTube that explain exactly how to do it. So... I'm not going to get too crazy in depth with it, but I will give you guys kind of a brief overview on how to do it. So let me um, let me get the GoPro on and start taking some of this stuff off. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, once you get in to this point, you're going to have T20 Torx all over the place to get all this trim out. So um, this bottom piece, it's real easy. You just remove both of these T20s, pop this out, transfer it to the new wheel. When you get up here, you'll take these T20s. Um, you'll have to remove these two first to get access to these pieces. Once these are out and disconnected, it'll give you access to 
the uh, the last bolt, which should be somewhere right here to take off your black uh, control trim pieces. So um, I'll remove this one and show you how to transfer and clip over into the new wheel. And then um, from that point, I'll, you know, I'll give you a brief description on each time I take one of these off, just how to unplug everything and reinstall it on the new wheel. So you might have to use a uh, flathead just to get a little bit of leverage right here and pop this out. But literally it's this easy, it just pops right out. Uh, you'll take your clip right here, line it up with the hole on your new wheel. Just give it a little bit of pressure. Make sure it lines up and you're in. Then all you have to do, reinstall these T20 Torx in the bottom right here and that's about it. So. Like I said, same thing here, just take everything off, unplug everything, transfer it to the new wheel, and uh, you're good to go. So I'll do that, get everything put on this wheel, then I'll show you guys a little more on how to take this back panel off that has your uh, control for the you know paddle shifters and all that good stuff. So um, once we get to that point, I'll pick the camera back up and show you some more. Okay guys, so once you have all the trim taken off, you should have something that looks like a bit of a mess like that. <laughs> Uh, now for the manual guys, I think you're pretty much done here besides the back trim. But um, for automatic guys such as myself, you have the paddle shifters back here. So uh, you have to take the paddle shifters off and then all this wiring has to come off with it. So you'll see there's T20s on both sides and there's clips on both sides. What you have to do, unclip both sides. Uh, take these T20s out and then the paddle shifters the whole assembly will come out So I'm gonna do that take those out and then we'll talk about the next step So uh, realistically this was actually a lot easier than I thought everything is just clips on the back of that steering wheel uh, Very delicately just Same thing take a flathead and pry up on all the edges don't break any of these clips because I'm sure this cost yeah, you know, who knows? Steering wheel harness from Ford, probably $8,000. Um, now I'm just gonna really transfer everything back over to this wheel. I would do reverse order. Uh, I'm gonna put this on first, clip it in, and uh, then the paddles, then start, you know, with your black pieces, get them wired in. Everything just plugs in like it should. And uh, once we get to that point, I'll go ahead and pick up the, uh, the, the nice camera, if you will. News flash iPhone 13 Pro hell of a camera highly suggest getting one if you guys don't have you know 3,000 to get a camera with I'm telling you there's a lot more you can do with uh, modern Apple technology than you think so um, anyways enough of that spill let me get all this put back together and transfer to this steering wheel and I'll uh, I'll show you guys how everything needs to go back into the car all right guys, once you get the steering wheel back out here and bolted in, it's literally as simple as putting this airbag back in. Uh, just make sure you reconnect, they're color specific, reconnect both wires, um, pop the top harness in, pop the rear harness in, and then reconnect your battery and your install's done. Um, make sure, you know, horn, everything still works, all your buttons. I went ahead and uh, fired it up just a minute ago and checked that all of my buttons and everything still work. We're good to go. In that department um so yeah guys finished install um we now have the dyna carbon wheel to match the red reflective carbon fiber on the dash um this thing is i mean it's it's well worth the money and the weight in my opinion um all of this is really really high quality the stitching as you can see there i mean everything is just handcrafted and they take their time when they build stuff like this um in terms of fitment, it's just like the regular stuff. You know, all of this is cut very precisely. Everything on this wheel, you can see there's no gaps anywhere in any of this stuff. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Again, I do have a promo code with Dyna Performance, Aaron10. I'll drop it right here. Um, it'll get you 10% off your order. If you guys want to do anything carbon with your interior, again, I highly recommend checking out Dyna Performance. Um, they've just been, you know, steady coming up in the past couple of years. And now, you know, this is a very much more common thing that you're going to see nowadays is all this carbon fiber and especially the steering wheels. Um, 
I did want to get y'all's opinion on something. Do you guys think we should change this to forged? I know um, I would leave the dash red, obviously the steering wheel red. I was thinking about doing all the trim, like all these AC vents and um, the radio trim, even this part down here, and you know, all these vents and door trim, everything besides the dash and the steering wheel do forged carbon accents in here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, I, I don't know. I've been talking with Dinah and, you know, Jake, Italian Stallion. He just got his forged stuff in and I've been dying to get some, you know. Uh, oh, and I'd also do these buttons. All the button trim, I'd try to get forged carbon. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys would uh, make that decision or not or just leave it how it is. But that's going to be a wrap. Thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, like, comment, sub, and look out for more content here in the future. So uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, uh, keep it a buck. We'll start saying that. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all be good. Well, if you guys hung around long enough, I guess I can give you guys a little pull. Uh, this thing's running really good now that it's cold and um, E85 and everything. So let's see. Yeah, we need to get some slicks. Thank you guys for watching as always, and we'll see you next time.